Hey guys, so today we are going to do a review on the new Morphe 24M main event palette. To be honest, you're going to find out that it's a miracle we even got to this review in the first place. But uh, if that sounds interesting to you, then make sure you keep on watching. But before we get started, please make sure you hit that subscription button and that notification bell so that you and I can be friends. Also, make sure you come and check out my Instagram. I post lots of photos and reels and videos, and I would love it if you came and followed me over there. Now, let's go ahead and... Uh, to this review. So like I said, we are going to be reviewing the new Morphe 24M main event palette. Now this palette got released, I think it was the 14th of August, which was the 15th of August in Australian time. Uh, and I originally wasn't going to purchase this palette because the color scheme really intrigued me, but I was just kind of like, I've just recently purchased quite a few palettes. I don't really need another one. Now, if you haven't seen the inside of this palette, this is what it looks like. And you do get 24 shades in here. And the formulas are what drew me into the palette because you do get a mix of mattes, uh, shimmery metallics, uh, glitters, and also these wet hydro liners, I guess you would kind of call them. They're, call they're calling them the headliners, but basically they're just uh, like water activated shadows, I would call them that. For size comparison, this is the Imagination palette compared to the 24M palette. So it is quite a bit bigger, but you do get four additional shades and they are like bigger shades. Um, in the palette, they're these kind of really big round ones right here. Now I'm going to give you guys a bit of an up close here of the palette and the shades. Hopefully the lighting's not too bad so you can kind of see what the shades look like um, as true to color. And I'm also going to insert some swatches for you guys, but I actually took these swatches on my iPhone because I find that when I do the swatches in front of my normal setup, it kind of washes the color out and it's really not true to color at all. So I took these swatches on my iPhone um, and the first video is the first three rows right here and then the second one is these bottom two rows right there so I'll insert them now actually going to give you guys my thoughts and my review first and then if you are interested in how I got this eye look and this makeup look I'm gonna have that at the end just as kind of like a sped up tutorial I'm not gonna talk through it or anything it's just gonna be with music but you will very much be able to see how I got this eye look it's very very simple you get four actual kind of pressed glitters in this palette which is these two shades and these shades right here um, which are just basically packed glitters if that kind of makes sense i do have uh the legends shade which is this one right here on my eyes today as kind of like a topper um i used the free spirit shade first which you'll see at the end and then use this one over the top now if you have the tati beauty textured neutrals palette you might be thinking that these glitters are going to be similar to that formula or you might be hoping that it's similar it's not similar at all it's definitely just a pressed glitter and that's it there's no pigment to them or anything like that it's just a pressed glitter so I wasn't kind of when I swatched the glitters and saw that I wasn't as excited for them because I was I was anticipating more of that Tati Beauty formula and I don't really want just plain glitter if that kind of makes sense so I would have rather that they took the glitters out and made them more of like a suspended glitter kind of shade if if they weren't going to make it like a pigmented glittery type shade hopefully that kind of makes sense Hopefully. And then you get five kind of traditional metallic-y shimmery shades, which is like this one here, this one, these two, and this one right here. And these swatch beautifully and they perform beautifully on the eyes. They're kind of like that traditional Morphe shimmer metallic formula. And then you've got this one here, which is kind of like a mix between a glitter and a metallic and a shimmer. It's a lot chunkier than the other metallics in the palette, um, but it's not all the way a glitter, but it does work really beautifully. I've played with this shade already and it is very, very nice on the eyes. Now I'm going to get into the really kind of nitty gritty parts of the review for me. Um, and I'm going to try and make this review not too negative because let me explain to you why. Basically, my overall thoughts of this palette is I don't like it. So I have tried to film this review twice now. This is my second time filming it. And on the first day when I tried filming this review, I redid my eye look three times to try and get it to work. And the third time I kind of did film the review, but it just like I was not happy with the quality of the way the 
the eye look came out kind of thing. And then today I have redone my eyes four times. I'm not even kidding you. I have redone my eyes four times. It was so frustrating. I was ready to throw this palette through the window. I am not even kidding you. Um, and in the end, I settled on this look, which is a very, very pretty look, but it is very, very basic. It's like three or four shadows thrown on the eye. Trust me, it's super basic because I was literally so frustrated. I wanted to use some of the more unique colors in this palette for the review to show you guys. But honestly, after the fourth go and then the other day having three goes today, I was like, I'm just throwing some neutrals on and making this freaking thing work as best I can. And I'm just getting this review over and done with. I don't enjoy using this eyeshadow palette in any way shape or form especially not like i i need to put this palette down after this review and not touch it for a while because i feel just so negative towards it the biggest reasons that i don't love this palette is the matte shades and I'm going to preface this with the fact that, um, and most of you, if you've watched a video from me before, you know this, I'm not a professional makeup artist. I haven't been professionally trained. I'm definitely self-taught. So potentially a lot of the issues that I'm having with this palette is just my skill level and my kind of knowledge, if that kind of makes sense. However, in saying that, I have not had a problem with really no other eyeshadows palettes that I've ever tried or eyeshadows that I've ever tried. I've always been able to kind of, even if they're a different or finicky formula, I've always been kind of able to finesse them or practice with them to get them to work for me. But after trying with this palette like seven or eight different times, I just, I can't get these mattes to really work for me. The mattes for me are just muddy, messes like absolute muddy messes these two shades here if you even try and use them really with kind of anything else they just completely turn into an absolute muddy mess i just i can't stress to you guys enough like these mattes just suck I'm sorry, they do. I'm just putting it out there, they suck. In my opinion, they suck. Like I said, the metallics in this palette are really, really beautiful. I don't have an issue with them. They are, they are actually very, very beautiful, the metallics in here. And the glitters are fine if you like glitters. I don't personally like these kind of chunky, choppy, glittery things. And I didn't think that that was what the formula was gonna be. But if you like glitters, it you know, or glitter in general, then you're probably gonna really like the pressed glitters. Now the headliners, which are down the bottom here, which are like the water activated kind of shades, they are literally the reason why I bought the palette. I was super intrigued by them. And I thought having, you know, such neutral shades as water activated liners in a palette would be really, really handy. Um, and the shades, like, they're okay, I guess is what I can say to you. They are they are buildable, I will say that. Um, I used the navy shade yesterday and it was very pretty. I tried to use the brown shade today in a look and it was very patchy and I just, I, I got so sick of it, I gave up in the end. The black was fine, I tried to use that. Again, I wouldn't say it's like the best thing in the entire world, but it, they're fine, like these are fine. They, they don't wow me. They're not super, super pigmented. You do really need to quite build them up. And I would recommend absolutely saturating your brush to use these because I find that if you just kind of give it a couple of spritz and use it, you're gonna really find that you're like pulling at your eye when you're trying to create the wing. But when I really saturated my brush, um, they glided on a lot easier. But then in turn of that is that they don't um, go on as pigmented and opaque so you kind of need to build it up quite a lot and to build it up You actually need to put it on and if you have hooded eyes like I do You'll need to put it on and kind of look down for a while so that it dries and doesn't transfer up and then put another layer on let it dry put an, you know what I'm trying to say so That's fine. Like I don't think I don't really know if that's a normal thing for waterliners. If it's not, then they're horrible. But if it is, then it just is what it is. But I think for me, they're not good enough to warrant the mattes being so effing shit, to be completely honest with you. Like, I don't enjoy using this palette at all. The other thing that I don't like about this palette is even though there's some really beautiful popping shades in here, like this one and this one, even that one, this pink here draws you in, even these shades kind of draw you in. Like there are some shades in here that you look at it and you're instantly drawn in and you just think, wow, that is so beautiful. But overall, this palette is really not cohesive at all. It's very actually quite hard to create a look with this palette and the reason why I say that is 
it's quite a cool toned palette but you've got this transition shade here which is not really that cool toned so it kind of like you, you can't really use this, well you can I guess, you can do whatever you want, but like this doesn't really go that well with that. Like when you blend them together, they don't blend beautifully together. And again, because they're super, I don't know, it's almost like they're just pressed pigments, like that real subculture pressed pigment formula that they just, I don't know, they don't blend well together. So these were the only two neutrals that I found working well together. These two here are quite pretty, but again, they just blend out so, like, so muddy and they just blend into each other and they don't hold their own colors. I, it's super weird. I I haven't quite, apart from subculture, that's the only thing I can relate these kind of mattes to. And I don't know if it's my palette, I don't know if it's my skill set, I don't know, but it's just, I don't like them. Anyway, I have been ranting about this for about 20 minutes now and I feel very passionately, as you can tell, about this palette. It's very rare that I will say that like a $34 palette isn't really worth it because for me that's a really reasonable price in Australia, but I just don't think this palette is worth it. And if I like know what I know now and went back in time, I wouldn't pick it up because it's just, it's just not a good quality palette for me. Okay, so that's pretty much the review part over. That is my thoughts. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I got this eye look so that you can see how the eyeshadows perform. It probably won't look too bad and like I'm struggling too, too much because again, this is just a very simple neutral eye look so it wasn't actually that hard to put together. Um, but you might get a bit of an idea of how it kind of blends and you might see a little bit of what I'm talking about. So if you are interested, I'm gonna do the look right now. Alright you guys, that concludes today's review of the Morphe 24M main event palette. I hope you liked this video. I'm sorry it was so negative. I didn't mean it to be, but yeah, just overall, I really don't like this palette. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Did you pick this palette up? Were you considering it? Did I turn you off? Do you have it and you don't like it and you agree? Or do you have it and you absolutely love it and you hate me because I have a different opinion to you? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts down below. I'd love to know. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I hope that you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time. Bye!